We are back in the kitchen with ABC 15 news anchor Steve Urban, who is going to be finishing up his chili recipe. But before we get to you, what did you think of the drip stick? It works. And you can even, like, drink all the juice. <laughs> you just right. drink the leftover juice. So it's kind of a margarita glass as well. Is Perfect. that the deal? That's a great That's idea. That's a great idea. You make margarita popsicles. <laughs> you make margarita popsicles and they melt down in there. I like and then, it. yeah. I thought we have ourselves a third of a cup. You can't find them in the morning, but that's okay, right? Way to recycle and, and really use. I like the yeah. way you think. That's true, yeah. It's a very green segment. That's All right, for sure. so we are um, <laughs> we're finishing up your turkey mm -hmm. chili. Perfect for Memorial Day, I might add. I'm sure, it is perfect for Memorial Day. If you like turkey chili. And something hot on Memorial and Day. And something hot on it's Memorial Day. It's only going to be 85 degrees. Is it really? You're going to get punked again next year when we <laughs> ask them on the show. Just going, you did notice that I was supporting the fact that That's true. Is. That's true. We're going to be making grilled swordfish next year, and <laughs> it'll be very complicated. Because you know I don't eat fish. That's yes, why. that'll be great. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing now? Uh, right now, we're, we're just taking some of the turkey and the, the onions that we kind of cooked together. And we, we, we spiced up the turkey a little bit, too, because you want to spice up the turkey uh, with some of the seasoning that you're going to put in. You want to put a little seasoning in there, but you want to kind of all get it to cook together. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of the stuff from this, this pan that I've uh, browned the turkey in, and I'm just throwing it in here. And what you're going to do after that is uh, just simmer it for a while, and you want everything to kind of cook together so they get your flavors of the meat, and you get the flavors of the uh, tomatoes and everything kind of going together. And uh, You think you could put this in a crock pot on low after you brown and, the meat? Yeah. I think absolutely yeah. you could. You could just cook it uh, very, very slowly, and, and sometimes that's the best way to do it. But at the same time, you could whip it up real fast, right. too, and just uh, have it done in about uh, 20 minutes or so, which is kind of what we've done here. So I'm going to mix this stuff in here a little bit and just stir it wow, around. Wow, really good, isn't he? And then, yeah, uh, yeah we'll have yeah. fun. I so. hear a Cooking with Steve show. Where did you get started? In TV. Where did I get started? I started in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, actually. Yeah. Pretty small market. Yeah, which is not uh, atypical. What market size is that? Oh, I don't know. It's like the hundredth largest market or something oh, like okay. that. Can you, do your, can you do your South Dakota talk? Well, yeah, I don't want to insult people from South Dakota, okay, but, but you know, growing up in the Midwest, you learn to talk you know, a little bit more like... Have you ever talk, you talked to somebody from the Midwest? No, I don't talk. Not people. at all? <laughs> when you call your mom, what's your mom say? I, I say, hi, mom. And when she say? Hey, hi there. Hi, son. How are you? Have you guys ever... Uh, you know, I love that. I love that accent. You know, if you ever watch the movie Fargo, it's just like, gosh, they got it down so good. Didn't they? It was just awesome. It's so. so true. So you started in like Market 100, and and you were. Did you, when did you start anchoring? Did you were you lucky enough to? I was lucky enough to do it right off the bat, right but, the bat. I, but I would say, you know, we, we get a lot of, uh, you know, young interns and things like that who come in here and they say, well, I, I don't want to report, I just want to anchor. And the, the bottom line is you, you kind of have to be a, a right. real journalist in order to be able to do Start this. Start at the bottom. Because you've got to know your stuff, yeah. And, yeah. and plus, you, you, occasionally you're, you're working without a script at all, kind of like Do you remember how much you made on your first now. job? Uh, dare I say it, I made $13,000 a year <laughs> I made fifteen five, and I shared a, the low point was sharing a can of tuna with my cat. Because I wanted a gym membership, oh. so I paid for yeah. a gym That's membership starting at the bottom, Stephanie. instead yeah. of paying, you know. All I, I got an apartment like four blocks from work that cost me like 260 bucks a month. So you could save on gas and I could on save rent. Save on gas and save on <laughs> rent, and I rented a, a part of a house from uh, an older woman who. Uh, I would, whenever I'd go pay rent, I'd have to spend uh, two or three hours just talking with her, you <laughs> know, the trade -off, about right? what was going on. <laughs> but so, you know what? Yeah, you wouldn't trade it for the world, would you? No, it was a great experience. No, I and, mean, and I think that's, uh, that's really true of anybody who uh, starts off in this business. Most people start off in a, in a very small market, but at the same time, you're, you're starting off in a place where uh, a lot of the people that you're working with are the same age, and, and you uh, make new friends, and you get to see different parts of the country. And I've lived in uh, the Midwest, and I've lived in the East, and the Southeast, and now the Southwest. And, you know, you, you really get an idea of the, the culture of the country so it's, yeah. it's awesome I, I developed this probably somewhere between the Midwest and the Southeast this? so you developed this yes okay. something like that what do you guys have I'm sorry go Steph, ahead. No, okay. what do you guys have uh, coming up on on the evening news you're working on any special products you're always out doing something we always uh, we have a lot of investigative stories that look we, how handsome that you look I was just gonna say that Woo! Woo! Wow. I said handsome she said hot that's great wow you look good in blue thank you I appreciate that it's the lighting I think so too <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you working on as we just keep watching how let's, cute you are? Let's just roll that over. We've been doing a lot of investigative uh, stories, especially on uh, this uh, sheriff's investigation, which continues to uh, kind of unfold and, and all kinds of things coming out on, on that. And you know, I, I have to say it, I, I got to brag a little bit on our investigative unit because I think it's the best one in the Valley. I think it's one no of doubt. the best investigative units I've seen in, in any television market anywhere I've, I've ever been. They're just some terrific reporters. But I would also say that about the, the people that go out there and turn stories every day. They're, they're just terrific. Terrific reporters and, and great journalists.
us. And I think that's really the strength and the heart of, of uh, what we do in the news department is just uh, they're, they're great folks and, uh, and, and people appreciate that. I, I mean, the feedback we always get yeah. is, you know, we love you guys because you just tell the news and you, and, and you do it straightforward and you don't sit there and uh, try to spin it in any way. And, and, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, and that's what we, we try to go for. I think it, we're really good for really hitting every little nook and cranny of the Valley, too. Just yeah. hyper local and our commitment to that, I think, has really yeah. been. Um, I think people this are responding to that well. Giganto or gigantic. All right, we're moving off Steve now. We're moving back chili. to the chili. As That's we wrap very odd up. that he wants to go off of the topic of Steve. I'm, I'm <laughs> frankly surprised. But if you want to redirect to the chili, I'm fine well, with that. I, I was going to talk about handbags, but uh, we won't do that. We've right still now. got some time. Okay. So is this pretty Can much we try done? This now? Yeah, if it's at 150 it degrees yet yeah. still, or it's probably most you are so getting punked. I don't even think he's going to wait till next year. All most right. of the salmonella is uh, probably <laughs> cooked out of it. I'm, most of it, I'm thinking. So you probably don't need to worry too much All about right, that. All right, here we go. So just go off the spoon. Are you really? Here, Steph. Uh, just you grab the big spoon. She's trying the big spoon. In the spoon. South Dakota talk, grab, say it. Grab the big spoon and just take a <laughs> taste. What's the problem? Come on. Give me that bowl. <laughs> okay, here you go. I'm going to wait mm. for mine to cool down a little bit, but say thing. Steve, there you go. I said stay. Thank you so much for coming stay. on the show. No, no problem. <laughs> you gotta feed the crew here. How we tall are you? Hmm? How tall are you? I'm six foot two, but I'm seven feet tall from the waist up. <laughs> right. I'll explain that later. All right, you can see, see he's Steve a practical Baker. joker. Four, five, six, and ten. <laughs> go to sonoraliving.com to get this recipe. It's actually very good. I love the seasoning. I'm gonna here. try it here. One second.